You see them on the streets fighting fires, at deadly car accidents and drownings, inside of restaurants helping people with medical emergencies. Normally speaking, your worst day is our normal day. No matter the situation, these men and women are there, putting their lives on the line to save others. A lot of the times you don't know what you're going to get yourself into. And there's always going to be something that changes. While countless hours of training help prepare them for the unthinkable, up our ventilation it's the trust between each other that may be most important. If you don't have trust with people, you, there's no way we can do this job together. They're going to be looking out for you when you can't look out for yourself. Having that bond and that camaraderie and that trust just elevates everyone. When they are not out on a call, <laughs> they are here in the fire station. <laughs> And it's moments like these <laughs> that build an unbreakable bond. We're here 48 hours with each other. So we get to know each other very well. We know our strengths, our weaknesses. We know each other's families. Regardless of the intense working conditions and the trauma they're exposed to day in and day out, these firefighters say they wouldn't trade their career for the world. Being a firefighter is more of a calling. You feel really, really good when you can go on a call and see that, you know, this person's situation got a lot better because of you. Dangerous yet rewarding. That's the life of a firefighter. If we don't help those people, no one's gonna help them. And I think that drives a lot of folks in the fact that if it's not us, it's nobody.